All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going to go into is arm swing. So, what we're going to do here is we're just going to swing our arms backward and forwards, nice and easy, warming up the shoulders. A couple seconds until we get started. Here we go. Forwards and backwards, nice and easy. Go with your own pace. Remember, this is just a warm up, so not trying to go crazy or anything. Next, we got chest openers. So, slide bending the elbows, pulling the arms back, stretching out the chest. And as we come across right here, kind of stretching out the back. Here we go again, nice and easy. We're trying to rip the chest open. Just warming it up. There we go. Got arm circles next. So arms out. Start with nice small circles, moving into larger circles. There we go. It's a little cloudy out today. Hopefully the rain holds off. If it's a light rain, we might just work through it. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna reverse it real quick. All right, we got good morning. Slight bend in the knees. And then we're gonna bend at the back. Coming up and down. Go at your own pace. Feel your lower back stretch out. So we are bending at the lower back here. Oh, wood bore. Something right there. There we go. All right, next we're going into alternating tricep extensions. Or tricep extensions. Tricep stretch. There we go. Stretching them out nice and easy. Again, nothing crazy. We got trunk twist coming up next. Feet wide. Here we go. Rotating side to side here. Feeling everything in the core kind of loosen up. Here we go. Twenty second break after this. Here we go twenty seconds right here. And then we're going into push-ups or chest press. If you want to do push-ups, you can do push-ups on your dumbbells. That's a great option to really kind of stretch out the chest, get a little bit further range of motion. If you're doing uh, chest press, we're going to be on our back right here. Arms about 45 degrees away from the body, pressing up, tapping them together, coming back down. Just like that. If you can do push-ups, do push-ups. Keep the core engaged. Good controlled movements here. Focusing on the chest. There we go. Get one more. All right, next we got pike push ups or decline. If you want to do decline, you're going to be right here, hips up, pressing up just like that, coming down. I am going to do pike push-ups. So pike push-ups are more of a incline push-up. Here we go. Hey, Bruce, you been playing in the water, boy? Yep. So pike push-ups are going to get our butt up in the air just like that. So feel a little bit more in the shoulders. That's fine. Should also feel it in the upper chest. The reason I offered declines is because you can't really do these on your knees. That's not gonna work. So if you have to drop down to your knees, just do declines. Bruce, you find your spot boy after playing in the water? There we go. All right, next we got wide push-ups or flies. Wide push-ups, hands nice and wide like this. You can kind of point your fingers out a little bit, like 11 and one, coming down, back up. If not, you can do flies. So for flies, slide in the elbows, coming out, let the back of the arms touch the ground, come back up. Just like that. Focus on the chest. 
with the flies, you're gonna have a slight bend in that elbow and then you're locking that in place. Here we go. All right, we got a 30 second break and then we're going in to rows on our left side. So this kind of next group, if you notice, I'm kind of doing groupings. So this next group, we're gonna do rows, reverse grip rows and high rows all on the left side. And we'll switch to the right. So for this one, you can either put your free hand on the leg right here or your elbow. I prefer my elbow. So right here, palm faces towards the body, coming up, back down. Kind of pulling somewhere up in between the right around that belly button area on these. All the way down, all the way up, squeeze. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Get one more. There we go. All right, so we got reverse grip rows coming up. For reverse grip rows, our uh, hand, our palm is gonna be facing out away from us. So on this one, hand out away from us, palm out away from us, elbow is gonna stay tucked. Here we go. So again, palm out, elbow tucked. Coming up and back on this one up and back. So we're gonna come, before I was like right here, now we're gonna come to the outside of that hip. Up and back, and you'll feel it right here. Oh yeah, feeling that burn. Come on. Oh, and the sun's coming out, and I don't even have my glasses. I'm being Mr. Squinty Eyes. Here we go. All right, we got high rows. For high rows, reduce your resistance big time. Your weights, big time. Here we go. So for these, what we're gonna do, still bracing the back with the free hand, we're gonna come nice and high right here. So side angle, coming out here. We're not down here, right there. Kind of the elbow in line with the shoulder. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Feel it right in between the shoulder blade and the spine, or right up under the shoulder blade. Good burn. Come on. Come on, keep pushing. One more. Oh. Woo. That burnt worse than the other ones. All right, so now we're switching everything to the right side here. So we got a nice little extended break here. Wipe some sweat, get some water. Prep for the next group. Rows, reverse grip rows, high rows, right side. Here we go. Rows, right side. Coming up and down. Up and down. There we go. We're pulling somewhere around that belly button area. Palm faces the body. It's okay to have the elbow out just a little. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh. Here we go. Reverse grip row is coming up. Woo. Here we go. Good reps right there. Well, now it's getting warm out. What do you think, Bruce? Ready to go back in the water? Okay. 
Here we go, rear grip row, right side. Come on. And we're pulling up and back. So for rows, I feel like my elbow down is nice. For reverse grip rows, I actually feel like my hand on top of the knee is better. Pulling up and back. There we go. Up and back. There we go. Woo. The reps right there going into high rows. Let me slide that over. Sorry about the noise. About 10 seconds. Four high rows, right side. Here we go. Remember from the side, right here, coming up and down. Elbow in line with the shoulder. Lightweight. I'm reducing my weight by about half. So 40 to around 20. Or something like that. Ah, come on. Good controlled movements here. Woo, here we go. 30 second break. We have shrugs coming up. So on this next one, we're gonna do shrugs. So we're working more traps here. We're gonna do shrugs, which is this, and then clean pulls left, and then clean pulls right. So we need two dumbbells. Starting off, we'll grab some water, and then we'll drop to one for the clean pulls. All right. So right here, standing nice and tall. Uh, shoulders come up, back down. Almost said elbows. I guess technically those are coming up too. Keep the chin up. We don't want to drop our head like that and pull our head down. We want to bring the shoulders up to the ears, then come back down. There we go. Come on. Here we go, we got clean pulls, left side. I'm actually just gonna try to do this weight. If you want, you could drop your weight by about 10 pounds, that'd probably be all right. If you went super heavy on shrugs, then maybe even a bit lighter. So I'm gonna do right around 40 pounds. Here we go. So dropping down, pulling it up to the chest, coming back down. Use those legs. Keep the dumbbell nice and close to your body here. We're right here. We're not out here doing that. Staying on the same side the entire time. Back straight, chest out, head up. We're not doing this business. Dropping at the hips and knees and exploding. Here we go. Right side. Coming up. Woo. Got about five seconds. Clean pulls. Right side. Here we go. Coming up. Down. Up. Down. Back nice and straight. Dumbbell close. Exhale as you pull up, inhale as you bring it back down. There we go, come on. Getting a little groove now. A couple reps. Ah, one more. Ah. Woo. 30 seconds. We're going into good mornings. So good morning is a lower back exercise. 
I'm just gonna hold a single dumbbell so I don't have to reduce the weights. Use a light resistance on these until you know that your back can handle it later on. Because what happens a lot of times is you'll feel fine during the exercise, but then afterwards, about an hour later, your lower back's locked up. So use nice and light weight until you know. Slide bending the knees, bending at the back, coming up. Good controlled movements here. We're not dropping down and then pulling up as hard as we can. Nope. Control down, good transition, control up. Down nice and slow, smooth transition, come back up. There we go. Trying to strengthen the lower back slowly. Here we go. All right, we got side bends, left side. Get my hand in there. So side bends, feet about shoulder width apart. What we're gonna do here, drop down one side, come back up, feeling it in the oblique here. Only one dumbbell. Here we go, coming down and up. Down and up. So inhale as you bend over. Exhale as you stand back up. Coming out to the side here and then up, not out to the front or anything. There we go. Feel the stretch and then come back. There we go. Switching sides. Side bend, right side. Here we go. Coming over and up. Over, inhale, exhale, come up. Good control movements, there we go. Really stretch it out. Here we go. All right, 30 second break. We're going in to bicep curls. Oh, there we go, didn't feel right. All right, so for these, we're gonna have our palms facing out away from us the whole time. Both hands come up, back down. That's how we're gonna do these. So we got regular curls, hammer curls, and then alternating close curls. The close curls are gonna try to go up in resistance. So palms out, coming up, back down. Up, down, there we go. Come on. Good, controlled reps here. If it gets too tough, it's totally fine. Alternate, just like that. That's all right. Just try to keep going, don't give up. That's the goal. Try to make it through the workout, no matter what. Come on. Oh yeah. Here we go. All right, hammer curls this time. Our palms are gonna be facing each other the entire time. We're gonna keep it just like that. So in neutral wrist position the entire time. Here we go, let's get ready. Hammer curls. All right, and then up and down. Make sure you're keeping the elbow by the side on the curls. We don't want that elbow kicking back. Again, if you need to, totally fine. Just alternate left and right. Don't give up. Even if you have to sit here for a second, give it two, three second count, come back up, back down, two, three seconds, back up, back down. Just don't give up. 
Here we go. Come on. One more. Ah, here we go. All right, we got close curls coming up. I'm gonna increase my resistance here. So, for these, we're gonna come across the body, up, back down, switch sides. Here we go. Coming up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bringing it across the body here. As you come up, rotate the palm up. Down here, palm faces the side. Rotating, getting that supination right there. Back down. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. Let's go. It should feel heavy. <clears throat> the weight should be right on the brink of form breakdown. So we're, the weight you can't perform quality reps. It should be right there. Oh, let's go. One more. Ah, Good stuff right there. All right, we got overhead tricep extension. We got an extended break right here. And we got overhead tricep extensions. This one just does not feel weird. It doesn't want to lock in right. So for these ones, I'm going to get those dumbbells up. Let me actually switch my because there's a knob on the inside of these. It hurts. So right here, just let them rest. And then from here, elbows high, coming up, back down. Elbows high, up, back down. If you need to, if it gets too heavy, you have dumbbells with flat ends. What you can do is drop down with the legs, explode, cheat it up, slowly control it. Cheat it up, slowly control it. Here we go. You can also do these with a single dumbbell. All right, we're gonna reduce our resistance here. We're gonna try some kickbacks. Nice light resistance. I'm dropping mine 10 pounds. So, what we're gonna do on these, bending at the hips right here, elbows come up, kicking it back. Right there, back down. Up, squeeze, back down. Up, squeeze, back down. There we go. Bruce, stop that. Bruce, thank you. He's over here licking himself because he decided to play in the water. Now he's all sandy. Come on. Push it out. Keep that back nice and straight. Elbows stay up. Let's go. One more. Squeeze. And oh, we got lying tricep extensions now. I'm going to go back to my original weight. We're going to be on our back here on the ground. So, the mill's up. There we go. Oh. Oh, there we go. If it's too heavy, what you can do is come here, let it rest, and then just pull your elbows down and then chest press it up. Control down, bring it over, chest press up. There we go. Woo. 30 seconds, we're going in to shoulder press. I've got so much sweat in my eyes. Woo. Nice and humid today, gotta love it. So for shoulder press, what we're gonna do here is curl them up, palms face away from us, elbows slightly in front of the shoulders. And we're gonna press it. Here we go, coming up and down. It's important when you're doing these to make sure you have a good base stance. Your feet shouldn't be together and knees straight doing this business in case you start to get off balance. 
Nice wide stance. Slight bend in the knees, coming down, pressing up. Elbows stay in front of the shoulders. There we go. Come on. Push it. There we go. We got lateral raises. Using a lighter weight here, dropping it by 10. You might need to drop it by a little more. So, slide pin in the elbows here. Coming out and down. Out and down. There we go. If this is a little too difficult, what you could do is just bring your arms to a 90, keep them bent at that 90, and perform it just like that, just so you can make sure that you're really focusing on the shoulder. Because when you're coming here, a lot of times it's easy to kind of shrug and work more traps than shoulders. We don't want that. Here we go. Come on. Oh, we got bent over reverse flies. I'm gonna drop my weights a little more here. Let me see. Ah, I can do that. We got this. So, bent over reverse fly, bending at the hips, not at the back. From here, palms face each other. Slide in the elbow, coming out and back down. You can also try it with your thumbs facing each other, like this. Either one is totally fine. Try both, see what you prefer. I feel like with your thumbs facing each other, you're getting more work in the rear delts, the back of the shoulders, palms facing each other. I feel like you get a little bit more work in the back. Oh. Come on. Push it out. Oh yeah. Here we go. All right, 30 seconds. Then we got abs. Coming up here. So, we got crunch holds coming up first. So, for these, we're gonna be on our back, feet pulled in, hands behind the head. Here we go. What we're gonna do, come up, try to hold it for a three count. So, up, hold, one, two, Three, come back down. Every time we're up here, we're trying to keep the shoulder blades off the ground. Back down. Up, one, two, three. Back down, come back up. Breathe, squeeze, breathe and squeeze. Let's go. Back down. Up, one, two, three, down. Up, one, two. Oh, no, we're just gonna hold it to the bell. Come on. Ah, there we go. Woo. All right, good stuff. Next, we're going into leg lifts. So hands go up under the butt here, and then head up. We gotta keep our head up the entire time while we're doing these. Feet out, and come up, back down. There we go. Here we go, I'm up, and down. Head up. We don't want to make sure that we have no space between our back and the ground during these. If you want to make this a little more difficult when you come up here, get that little hip raise right there. A little hip thrust, really squeeze the core. If you need to make it easier, what you can do is just alternate like this. There you go. Come on. One more. Here we go. All right, last one, fun one. Hollow body holds. So for these, we're gonna have our head up, feet out. Feet probably about 18 inches, foot to 18, 18 inches off the ground, and then head up the whole time. Here we go. Right here. 
trying to keep the lower back on the ground the whole time. You can have your hands here. Oh, let me bring my feet down. <laughs> I didn't think so high in the air. You can also have your hands here. <sighs> Try to hold. Try to hold. If you need to take a break, that's fine. Drop down. Take a quick break. Pop back into it. Hold as long as you can. <sighs> there we go. Breathe. Five seconds. There we go. Woo! That was a burn right there. Great workout today. Way to go. Feeling good. Abs are on fire. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. See you guys.